Vala. This is the name of the soon to come Cactus boss which we will need to face. But compared to the many other endgame bosses who have little screen time except the monitor, Vava seems to be someone of high importance, from the fact that 1. She started a Catechism event, and 2. She's part of a outcasted Dominion group, for reasons unknown. Many people who hear her name fear for what she's capable of, but also respect her for who she is. And now her time has come to set things right, but through her methods and her methods alone, not the monitors. Now the problem here is that the Dominion aren't the type to let some of their soldiers off freely if they mess up on orders, and we know this just based off their nature alone, where they don't treat their own civilians nor their own soldiers with an inch of respect, and what they did to Owen after he failed to do a simple task is something akin to, you mess up once and your life is on the line. So the fact that a Dominion operative is loose and created a faction of her own tells me there's a bigger plan at hand that nobody but her and the loyalists knows about, since this wouldn't have flied easily under them. So I theorise that Vara is not a small time character that we would forget over time, but rather a character that is imbued in a major event, where the Dominion are having an initial change within their culture, a coup at best. From watching some of the Kakazum PTS videos, it's stated by Grandmaster Adams that the Dominion as a whole is changing via a coup and a new faction of the Dominion called the Spear are the main culprits to causing the large civil war between the two to occur, and part of the Cataclysm event. Vara now is apparently a Valkyrie Scyther Javin user and a very powerful one from what's been told by a loyalist. According to them, Vara will be the one to save us all, but from what is unknown. But from seeing the ongoing fight occurring between the split Dominion faction, I would guess they need saving from each other. Now all of this seems to have started the moment the Monitor died as the Spears faction were kidnapping Dominion generals under the Monitor for information. Now this indicates that the Dominion were already at each other's throat between before the events of our story. And now it seems that since the Monitor is now dead, there's nothing holding them back from going full out on each other. And also Dr. Harkonnen is alive, like I theorised, and is using the Spear faction to start up another cataclysm, with reasons unknown. So what could this all mean? I believe a revolution is starting to happen within the Dominion where everyone is splitting up to go their own ways. It seemed like the Monitor was one of the reasons as to the Dominion staying in check for so long, but like Helena Tarsis, after her death, there was no one proper to lead, and because of competition, every key player believed they deserved it and are now creating sub-factions of Dominion for themselves, and are also fighting over this. Vara now seems to be the main menacing and powerful one made present considering where the story is going for the event, and how everyone fears her for her nature alone tells me she's just like the Monitor version 2. But perhaps she's not a version 2 of the Monitor, perhaps she uses these tactics to install fear into people, but doesn't actually mean it. Perhaps she wants to change the way the Dominion are treated, to humanise them more, rather than the way that Dr. Harkin and the Monitor does it. Vava, the Monitor, Dominion and Dr. Harkin, all key figures in the game of chess where Dr. Harkin is the main player in all this from what I've noticed. He knows something that we don't and he's using them to create a second cataclysm just like the Heart of Rage. Hopefully this will all be explained once he's captured and the event ends, but whereby where it goes with this is unknown. So that's just a quick rundown of what I basically noticed from the Cataclysm event um, from watching some of the videos. I do hope you enjoyed it. It's a quick theorised video, not a lore video, but more of a theory video that I hope has some kind of substance to once the event actually comes close to us. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a subscription, and also comment if you do have your own theories around the Cataclysm event and who potentially Vava and the Dominion are up to. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.